Hello guys, welcome to my page Ami America. When them cake email. Hope you're good today. My people, it has finally happened. They don't cut off Mr. Ibu's leg. Hey! I'm on this life, eh? Nothing day for this life. Nothing day for this life. You guys know a few weeks ago, his family cried out to general public that they need help, which most Nigerians contributed. Now, this morning, we got the news that they don't cut off the leg. Mr. Ibu, of all people, that me and you used to watch. A very funny man. Mr. Ibu, where we say, if he run like this, you go laugh. If he sit down, you go laugh. If he dance, you know, those are moves, you will laugh. He's a very funny person. The same Mr. Ibu that we used to watch can no longer walk with his two legs. Now he needs someone to help him if he wants to move from one pole to another. Hey! And you still need someone to tell you that life no balance. You that you that is still making mouth with life. That's why they say even the rich they cry. You that still making mouth. You that think you, you think say because you gain money or because you're still healthy today. If you say life, you get everything. Hmm. Just pray, main nemesis no catch up on you. Just pray. Some of some of us now karma they catch us. Pray, say karma. You don't know, even remember you. You see, life, life don't mean me. Mr. Ibu can no longer walk now. I can't just imagine it like me now. Ah, I wake up one morning, no leg again to walk. No legs again. It's so painful. I just pray that God will strengthen the family and also strengthen Mr. Ibu because I. Ah, uh, you think I'm now? The pains. Hmm? The psychological torture. Me that is even talking. And when I saw the video online, I talked about it. I was just, and you know, it took me a couple of minutes. I was, I was like, ah, this life self. So this man now, how is he feeling? You know? I can just imagine it. You wake up now, you've been making use of this, your aunt. You wake up now, no hands again. I know it's not going to be easy for him and for the family. But may God strengthen them. To you watching me, you have to be, be careful the things you eat. We have to take care of ourselves. Take care of your health. Eat healthy. Some of, some of us, we just they consume whatever we say. Anything consumable, they eat them. If you bring a bucket of ice cream like this, you go finish them because you get the money to buy the ice cream. You see, sometimes say, I don't know if I if I should say that it's right for us not to have everything we need. I don't know if I it's right to use that, make that statement. Because once we get that money, we buy shawarma, they chop it anyhow. I see some people digging out some videos that Mr. Ibu did in the past with her with her adopted daughter. Some are saying, ah. Yeah, he was eating. Look at the things he was eating, knowing that he's not knowing the 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 uh, his uh, condition, and he's eating all those things. Are you sure? I know, say uh, Mr. B is educated, but you know, sometimes people know they know everything. Uh, maybe nobody educating, you know, nobody told him not to be eating those things. Maybe I'm just saying. But please, you that are still living, you 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 that are still watching. They have not cut off your legs. You are still making use of all the all, all, all parts of your body. I beg, try to eat healthy. No, they no they eat anyhow because when you get old, all those things they will begin to do their own work. All those things that we are eating, especially all this canned food, they use chemical to preserve them. If you are not careful, and you are consuming them a lot. Are they, when you get old, all those things will start will become another wahara for you. Things that even you eat with your money, you, you use your money, you buy them, you eat them. It will not start causing another problem for you. Try to eat healthy because some of them that don't go before, some of them that don't go before, now the result of what they eat, not taking care of their health. Try to go to hospital once in a while to do check up, check your body, check. You know, it, it's good to you know on time, so you know the ones you can prevent, you know the ones you can still, you know, handle, treat. But when you get to us, when you get to a level that you can't treat them, 
you become worse. So it's good that you go once in a while to check your health. It's good that you, you, you take care of yourself. Don't eat everything because you have money to buy them. So that you don't see yourself in that condition. Last week, the other one cried out that they need help. The other nod another nod would that one, that one that used to act uh, with Jack and Popo, that one also cried out la last week that they need help. And some people are saying, oh, it's from the Nollywood industry. All of them, they are like that. They know they, they too, they fall sick. Now them, they do themselves. I don't think so. I know say they don't love themselves. But you see these ones now, all this legs pain, waist pain, back pain, and all. some of them now, they come with old age. You see, some of them, they, their eye go, they paint them. They want to go to hospital to take care of it. Some all those things, some of them, they, co they, they come with old age. It's inevitable. It's, it's old age. Now, the baggage is where they follow old, old age come. After you don't also, you don't nega, nega, finish. Eh? After you don't consume every consumable. After you don't enjoy life. Everything don't, they get weak. Eh? You see those things, they'll start coming up back pain waist pain leg pain eye pain all those ones to start coming up we pray that god will keep protecting us and you have to do your own part don't just live life anyhow when you get old you become a problem for your family take care of yourself when you when you can none that you can take care of yourself eat healthy that's just my message i pray that god will strengthen them i pray that god will give them the heart to be at this and i i also want to think in fact the family should be grateful to god because so many people that don't go from this though it's not just cutting legs and some people they go cut down they're not going to make them some people they don't even get money but their own god don't help people contribute they get money go hospital go do this one they should be grateful to god they should thank god for his life I know it's not easy, but I thank God for his at, at least he's still living. You see how many of them went don't remember for that movie in uh, Nollywood industry. You see how many of them went don't remember. So for him, we are grateful to God that he's still living. Okay? We are grateful to God. Just to all of us, take care of yourself. Because um, if your name is his cash up on you, my dear, you know the game mouth to talk him. So be careful the things you eat. Take care of your health. Go to hospital to check. Mind these things. You, you know, they eat carbohydrate all the time. All the time, they eat akbo and gare. All the time, they eat yam. Try to add protein and fruits. Okay? Uh -huh. Beans is good. All those fruits. I know say it's, it's expensive, but try to buy them once in a while. You eat them. Mm. Drink better water also. They help. I love you guys. I'm America. We'll see you in the next one. Just pray for Mr. Ibu. And according to the family that they still need help, because now, Mr. Ibu no go work again. I trust Nigerians. I bet we will continue to their help, to the contribute for them so that, um, you know, Mr. Ibu will see food they chop now. Uh -huh. I love you and also to pay for the hospital bills. Hey. Mm. It's not easy. It's not easy. I can't just imagine it. So God will help him. I love you guys. I'm in America. I'll see you again. Enjoy your day.